students welcome to all for this session we see the topic stability of metal complexes okay children in the coordination compound we study the stable or uh, stability of the metal complexes here metal complexes mean metal with ligand okay if the ligand is six or four whatever very clear children so this is the metal complexes or coordination complexes this coordination complexes is stable or more stable or less stable or unstable we discuss now are you clear children uh, in simple substances or simple element uh, we can assume from the outer electronic configuration i give one example nitrogen okay atomic number 7 now it is stable or unstable mean it is a stable element because the outer electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 here 3 electrons it is half filled it is more stable okay children same way in coordination compound complexes stable or more stable or less stable or unstable we discussed now okay so here first the stability it is explained in two ways one is thermodynamic stability thermo dynamic thermo dynamic stability and another one is kinetic stability kinetic stability kinetic stability the thermo dynamic stability it explained with the help of the delta g concept delta g is the gibbs free energy okay so here delta g value delta g you know gibbs gibbs free energy gibbs free energy okay so now delta g value it is negative the reaction is a spontaneous reactions we know okay so next one based on the kinetic stability explain the stability concept in kinetic stability it is explained through the ligand substitutions ligand you know very well okay metal with the ligand through the ligand substitution in two ways they are explaining if the substitution is fast okay the metal complex is known as labile complexes labile complexes more substitution okay if it is less substitution is known as inert complexes now i give the example children for m s 6 this is metal complexes okay with ligand substitution this one substitute okay so remove the s now write the reaction m s 5 okay one ligand is removed from the complexes so now l substituted okay so now easily we substitute so this complexes is known as labile complexes now see the example for inert complexes m s 6 plus ligand to gives here no substitution takes place inert means it does not involve in this reaction you know the very you know very well okay so what is the product m s 6 plus ligand okay here no substitution takes place so we call it it as inert complexes children now study the stability stable of the complexes are the coordination complex so we are explain in two ways one is thermodynamic stability and another one is kinetic stability so thermodynamic concept is based on the delta g okay so kinetic stability based on the ligand sub ligand substitution 
Okay, so ligand substitution is substitution is fast labile complexes. Substitution, the process is slow. It is known as inert complexes. Now study the topic stability constant. Okay, stability. The stability con stability of the metal complexes with is uh, decided. Okay, through the stability constant. Here two stability constant. One is beta and another one is alpha. Okay. So with the help of this, we come to the conclusion it is more stable or less stable. Are you clear children? Okay. So first study the stability constant. The symbol is beta. Okay. So R the formation constant. Stability constant symbol B R formation constant. Okay. Formation constant. So here form the metal complexes. Metal complexes. So now I, I will consider one example. Cu copper plus 2. It react with ammonia NH3. Okay. 4 times. It exists in equilibrium reaction. Now to give the product metal complexes. Cu NH3 4 times okay, with the charges plus 2. Now to form the metal complexes. For this the reaction, we write the constant, stability constant. Here formation, so we write the symbol beta equal to okay, product divided by reactant. So write the product Cu NH3 4 plus 2 product. Next write the reactant Cu plus 2 okay NH3 4 times okay so from this we come to the assumption beta stability constant increases the concentration of Cu NH3 4 2 plus also it is increases so from this formation is increases the stability constant also increases are you clear children okay so come to the this is the conclusion so now general concept in generally in aqueous solution okay in aqueous metal complexes is more stable okay so when it takes place mean dissociation process here formation of metal complexes in aqueous solution dissociation of metal complexes takes place okay so now write the reaction of okay so before that in dissociation it is based on the bond between metal as well as ligand if the metal as well as ligand the bond is more stable okay so, or strong so now the dissociation is very slow process okay children so now write the dissociation constant so now you can clear idea about formation constant formation of metal complexes from the respective metal ion with the ligand from the now write the beta so here we we, we uh, take the we come to the assumption stability constant stability is increases formation also increases dissociation constant okay dissociation constant symbol is alpha Okay, so R in stability constant. In stability constant. Okay, so here dissociation takes place. Dissociation of metal complexes. So I take the example. Copper Cu NH3 4 2 plus. This is the metal complexes. Now dissociation takes place. So, here it exists in equilibrium reaction to use Cu plus 2 plus 4NH3. Now, write the constant. So, here dissociation. So, use the symbol alpha equal to product divided by reactant. Here product is Cu plus 2. Product. Okay. NH3. 4 times. 
is Cu NH3 4 times plus 2. Okay. So now just compare the formation constant as well as dissociation constant. Okay. So formation constant now see the relation. Okay. So formation constant is equal to 1 by alpha. Okay. So in formation constant see you in this report here. This one for it present in the denominator column. So just reciprocal. Okay. So beta formation constant is equal to the is e equal to this reciprocal of the dissociation constant. Okay. So beta equal to 1 by alpha. Significance of stability constant. Okay. So here using the beta value the come to the conclusion of the metal complex is more stable or least stable. Okay. So using this beta value if the beta value is more okay. so now the metal complex is more stable more stable okay if beta value is less least stable that's all okay so here give this some examples given FeSCN plus 2 uh, some complexes, metal complexes given here, HgCn42 minus here value 2.5 into 10 power 41, okay. So, here 1.0 into 10 power 3, children, here this complex is more stable, okay. Among this least stable is FeSCn plus 2 complexes, okay. So, most stable and the least stable is decided by the beta. Okay, beta is the stability constant. Topic overall formation constant and stepwise formation constant. Okay, first we see the overall formation constant. Okay, stability constant. Here, metal with solvent. So, write the formula MS6. This is the metal complexes, coordination complexes. So, write within the sphere. Okay, so now it re react with the ligand. If the ligand is more stable than the solvent of water molecule, so remove easily and to get the product. Okay, so it exists in the equilibrium reaction. Write the product. So ligand is replaced by the solvent molecule. So ML6 plus S. S is a solvent, water molecule. Remove here ligand 6 so 6 times for this reaction. Write the beta, beta is the stability constant, formation of stability constant. So here overall, okay. So write overall equal to as usual product divided by reactant. Here product ML6, okay. So next product is solvent. Now solvent is the weak ligand. So it just leave it. Okay. And next one right here. M S 6. Ligand 6 times. That's all. So this is the overall formation constant. Formation constant symbol beta. So here directly converted. 6 solvent is replaced and substitute the 6 ligand. Okay. This is the overall formation constant. Next we see the stepwise formation constant. Now study the stepwise formation constant. Okay. Formation symbol beta. Okay. So here stepwise means each stepwise. Now put the constant symbol K. Okay. Because it is a stepwise one by one by one. Okay. The process is going on. Okay. So now here M S6 with ligand so give the product. What is the product? M. Yes. Here only one ligand. So one ligand is replaced to the solvent molecule. So S5 ligand plus S. Okay. For this reaction write the constant K1. Okay. Product divided by reactant. Product is M S5. Okay. With the 
here yes so so this is the solvent water molecule so don't want to write here because it is the weak one okay so here m yes 6 ligand same way for up to we want to write the six steps Read your children okay so second one i'm going to write m yes 5 n plus substitute the ligand it is a equilibrium reaction so now the ligand is substituted solvent is removed so m yes 4 okay l2 ligand solvent is removed for this reaction write the constant k2 equal to product is m yes 4 l2 okay put the coordinations here and next m yes 5 l as well as L ligand. Right here. Okay. So next third one. So M yes 4 L2 react with ligand. It is a equilibrium reaction. So now ligand is substituted. So M yes 3 solvent is removed. L2 plus 1 3 L3. That's all. Okay. So now write the K3 equal to M S3 L3 okay, by M S4 L2 ligand. Same way for K4. So write again M S3 L3 ligand equilibrium reaction. Ligand is substituted, solvent is removed. So, M, S2, L4 plus S. Okay, write the K4. K4 equal to M, S2, L4, coordination sphere by M, S3, L3. Okay, with the ligand. So, next one, try. K5 as well as K6. Now writing the K5. So now I am going to write the because here 6 ligand. Okay. So this last solvent also want to replace. So write M, S, L, 5 plus ligand. Equilibrium reaction. Okay. So what is the product? This ligand is substituted. So M, L6. This solvent is removed. Yes. That's all. For this reaction, write the constant. So, K6 equal to. Okay. Product divided by reactant. M L6. Here, M S L5. Ligand. That's all. Right here, children. So, now we are writing step by step. K1. Okay. K1, K2, K3, K4, okay, K5 and the K6. Six steps. But previous one is overall. Directly we remove all the ligand. Okay. All the solvent is removed and ligand is substituted. But here step by step. So now the topic is formation constant. So put the beta. Beta is the formation constant. So now the product of stepwise. Okay. K4, K5. I think here into K5 into K6. So the product of stepwise stability constant is equal to the overall stability constant. Are you clear, children? Okay. Beta overall formation constant is equal to product of stepwise stability constant. So now if converted into logarithmic pattern, mean, so both the side to multiply the log. So log beta equal to log k1. So now log mean this multiplication symbol converted into plus. So log k1, log k2 plus log k3 plus log k4 plus log k5 plus log k6. Okay children. Children now study the topic stability. Stable. 
okay the com metal complexes is stable a more stable or less stable okay so we come for this concept we come to the conclusion is based on the beta beta is the stability constant or formation constant okay so we study the significance so next one overall formation constant next one stepwise stability constant now study the importance and application of coordination compound children this coordination compound is useful in many ways industry and dyeing many industries okay as well as the medicinal area as well as the biological process okay even in the chemical reaction it acts as a catalyst it is act as a good catalyst okay so now see one by one see the applications okay so here the first one is thalo blue thalo blue is a one of the coordination compound is a pigment okay dark blue pigment thalo blue is a dark blue pigment so this dark blue pigment pigment you know the meaning okay it is used in the dyeing industry okay to give the color blue color it is given this substance to give the blue color okay coordination compound substances this is a bulkier compound children okay so now it is used in the preparation of printing ink printing ink as well as the packing industry packing industry so in thalo blue is one of the dye okay dye so next study the this is one of the application so next application extraction of metal are extraction of pure metal so already studied in the first lesson mond process mond process in mond process nickel is a impure this one impure metal so this impure metal with react with the carbonate compound at 350 degree celsius to use nickel tetra carbonate nickel tetra carbonate so this pattern you can where you can say it is a coordination compound okay so now it gives nickel okay plus 4 co this nickel is the pure nickel so now prepare or separate the pure nickel from the impure nickel with the help of the coordination compound are you clear children okay so here the temperature is 460 degree celsius to use as mark arthur forest cyanide process m a c mark arthur a r mark arthur forest cyanide process here extraction of metal especially for silver as well as gold okay two metal it is extracted here it extracted from the ore for example now we take the silver the ore is ag2s this ag2s react with the sodium cyanide to give the product and ye ag cn twice this is the coordination compound from this coordination compound plus na2s next product okay na2s so now write the coordination compound ag cn twice it react with it react with the metal zinc to give ag plus okay n a2 is a then c a4 very clear children so now a g is obtained from a g to s here a g is obtained from the coordination compound so now study the topic application or importance of coordination compound so now here it 
it is a very important part from this coordination compound we get the metal okay from their ore we can separate the metal from their ore so this is also one of the applications so this process is known as macarthur forest cyanide process here silver as well as gold is extracted from their ore that's all next uses edta so this also it is a coordination compound okay metal complexes edt ethylene diamine tetra acetate don't say as acetic as acetate ion okay so this edta it is used in the uh, hardening of soft water okay soft water Next one, removing lead. So, this is two uses, ADTA. So, next one, estimate. Okay, estimate the metal ions present in the complex, metal complex. Estimate metal ion. You see here example, nickel, DMG, dimethyl trioxide. So, this is the complex, Ni. DMG. Okay, so from the metal complexes, we can estimate the nickel plus two ions. Okay, so in the, this one for a practical part children, in the volumetric analysis, we can estimate the uh, metal ions present in the complexes. It is used in the catalyst part also. Okay, so here two catalyst are given Siegler Netta catalyst. Siegler Nata Catalyst. Siegler Nata Catalyst. Formula TICL4 ALC2H5 Price. This is a molecular formula of Siegler Nata Catalyst. Okay. So this catalyst is used in the polymerization of alkene so see this example ch2 double bond ch2 n times n time denoted as the polymerization reaction now to use the product is ch2 and ch2 n time polyethylene okay so polyethylene it is obtained from the ethylene molecules with now here use the catalyst as Siegler Nata catalyst. This is a coordination compound. So now coordination compound it acts as a catalyst. And another one Wilkinson catalyst. Wilkinson. Okay, Wilkinson catalyst. Wilkinson catalyst formula P P H plus triphenyl phosphine. Okay. R H C L this is a coordination compound. So this coordination compound now it used in the hydrogenation. What is the meaning of hydrogenation? Addition of hydrogen in alkene compound. So C H two double bond C H two it converted into C H three single bond C H three. So alkene ethene. Compound E T H E N E E T E N E here ethane E T H A N E so ethane compound converted into ethane it is one of the hydrogenation reaction hydrogenation mean addition of hydrogen here the catalyst is Wilkinson catalyst Wilkinson catalyst formula this formula is the coordination compound next uses. A, um, see here, see this experiment. Okay, here cathode, okay, anode. Here are the electrolyte. Now the electrolyte is AgCl2 minus. It's a coordination compound. Okay, or AuCl twice is a coordination compound. So now coordination compound here used as a electrolyte. Okay, so here the process is coating the metals. For example, silver, gold and platinum. Okay, this is superior metals. Now, take the, for example, now take the chalk piece here. 
okay here have the gold okay so next one the solution also contain AuCN2 2 minus now to pass the electricity okay so now the gold deposited on the chalk face okay now the simple chalk face now it changes into gold chalk face just to give the coating of the metal okay so here also the coordination compound coating or over the base metal now the coordination compound it act as a electrolytic it it is a main function okay it used in the electrolytic path okay so next uses in medicine okay children so in medicine cis clapping this is repeated one word question important point also S structure platinum nh3 nh3 cl and cl okay so cis platin so trans platin means here nh3 okay children so it's very important cis platin cis platin is used in the anti tumor anti tumor of cancer okay treatment of cancer okay so next med medicinal that is uses ca calcium and edta ca edta you know it is edta okay so it is used in the medical field also oh, here to remove the lead okay bb from the body okay so from the body to remove the lead and another one to remove the radioactive metal ions radioactive metal ions okay so here put the charges metal ion from the body are you clear children so this is the medicinal uses of the coordination compound. So next one, it is used in the photography industry also to remove or to clean the photographic film. Okay, use the AGBR. This coordination compound it is used in the biological process. Okay, so in biological process mean the human body functions. Okay, for example RBC, RBC red blood corpuscles. Here F E two plus is the central now study the structure okay central metal ion so it is surrounded with the parbyrin ring okay this also a bulkier compound children parbyrin complexes okay so now is a coordination complexes so this complexes is used so okay, what are the ways it's used mean now transfer the oxygen okay from lungs to the tissues okay at the same time carbon dioxide is transferred from tissues to lungs so rbc rbc is a red blood carbuscle so this one structure center fe2 plus ion it is present so it is surrounded with the power by ring so it is a coordination complexes so this complexes is used Transfer of oxygen from lungs to tissues. At the same time, transfer of carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs. Okay. So, next biological process, chlorophyll. Okay. So, chlorophyll means, you know, the reveal the function of preparation of oxygen, photosynthesis process. Okay. So, in chlorophyll, magnesium is the center metal ion. So, here also it is surrounded with the parbyrin ring. So, this also bulkier metal complexes. One of the coordination complexes. So, here it is it used in the photosynthesis process. It is one of the green pigment 80% in the plant. Okay. So, now carbon dioxide plus water. Okay. So, to give well, chlorophyll. Okay. It is a sensitizer. So, now the product is carbohydrate okay or glucose carbohydrate plus oxygen plus O2 okay oxygen synthesis chlorophyll okay it is a photosynthesis process so this is a metal complexes or coordination compound is used in the biological process is used in the photosynthesis process uh, uses vitamin b12 
okay vitamin b12 children you know the commercial name cyano cobalamin cyano cobalamin here this only vitamin contain the metal cobalamin cobalt with the ligand is attached okay so next one enzymes enzymes okay so enzyme so it is a main uh, uses okay in the human body biological process so now the one of the enzyme is carboxy peptidase carboxy peptidase here this carboxy peptidase contains zinc is the central metal is it in two plus it is surrounded with the parbyrin ring okay so it is a coordination complex so this complex is used in the digestion process okay digestion function is proper um, proper way okay only with the help of this enzyme the enzyme name is carboxy peptidase children so up to this topic uh, theory part is over children okay so now i am taking the evaluate yourself children this is evaluate sixth one okay next video i put the evaluate five children because take uh, some more time okay so indicate the possible type of isomerism now here give the question children so now to find out this one which type of isomerism whether it is a coordination or ionization or linkage or ligand isomerism okay for the following complexes and draw their isomers that's all so see the first question c o e n tries c r c n 6 children see the next question here only one coordination com complex is given but here two complex first one as well as second one so this one which type here bimetallic complex so bimetallic complex one this one which type of isomerism children studied in the theory part okay so this is coordination isomerism that's all so now you can find this is which type of isomerism coordination isomerism next we want to write the isomers here this just ligand exchanges cn is coming here en is present here are you clear children okay so always first write the cationic complex next we want to write the anionic complex this one for cation this one for anion okay so now here en trice en trice so cr are you clear children why writing here mean first one write the cation so write en thrice okay next one write the cationic complex so cn minus is the negative type of ligand here six so metal co that's all so this is the isomer are you clear children okay so the next question co n is 3 5 n o 2 plus 2 this one which type of isomerism whether it is coordination or ionization or ligand or linkage only four okay so uh, as well as the stereo isomer optical isomerism okay so here co n is 3 5 n o 2 children this n o 2 is a which type of ligand ambidentin ligand ambidentin means you know the meaning it live uh, for example take the frog it live both land as well as water same way for here this o n o 2 is linked with the metal n as well as o okay so this one ambidentin ligand so ambidentin ligand is considered a linkage isomerism so this one which type of isomerism linkage isomerism so now I want to write the isomer co nh3 5 this n directly attached to the metal next another one possibility is o n o okay so o n o as well as n o 2 so this one isomer of this pt nh3 thrice n o 2 cl children out of the coordination sphere give some element mean you can easily guess it it is a ionization isomerism now cl it present inside the sphere n o 2 it present in the outside and another one children here n o 2 is a which type of ligand ambidentin ligand okay so ambidentin is a which type it comes under the linkage isomerism so here for this question two possibilities children one is linkage isomerism okay linkage isomerism so for linkage isomerism if write the isomer mean 
I write here platinum NH3 thrice NO2 right like this O N O okay and Cl okay so another one it here possibilities is a ionization isomerism ionization isomerism so ionization in Cl it present inside the coordination sphere so now write the isomer PT NH3 thrice Cl yeah, it present inside the sphere okay NO2 that's all children I hope you understand this session thank you